Welcome back viewers. Welcome to our study of protozoans. This topic protozoans, we will see it in an animal environmental biology. Animal environmental biology, AEB. Uh, moving on to our discussion on protozoans. One thing I must tell students is that whenever you pick up plant biology material to read or animal biology material to read or textbook, first thing you look out for is what is called the general characteristics of that particular kingdom. Of course, protozoan is a sub-kingdom under a kingdom called Protoctista. We we'll still see that um, in our coming videos. For protozoans, first thing, like I said, you look out for general what? Characteristics. General characteristics of protozoans. One, protozoans are unicellular organisms. They are unicellular. Two, they lack germ layer. Lack germ layer. All right. Next one, they reproduce. They reproduce bisexual and asexual methods of reproduction. All right. What about nutrition? What does it mean? For you to understand everything here without cramming them, you, um, you have to have something in your mind. And I call them focal points. Focal points. What are my focal points? I said, when you pick up anything, animal or plant um, text to read, focus on the following. Number one, general characteristics. Even that general characteristics, how do you get it? You get the general characteristics by following what I call focal points. What are the focal points? First of all, ask yourself a question. Do I know any organism under this kingdom? If yes, next question you ask yourself, how does this organism reproduce? You see that question now? How does that organism feed? All right. What are the um, physical attributes of such organisms? That will help you understand these topics without cramming. Um, even when you study a lot of things, you will still remember this thing using the focal point. So one of the focal points is what? One, reproduction. Ask yourself, that kingdom you are describing, do you know any organism there? If yes, how does the organism you know reproduce? Another focal point is nutrition. Nutrition. So you look out for nutrition and then you check how does the organism feed. Because of this is my focal point, if I'm done giving you the general categories of protozoans, I will just give, elaborate these two things, and that is it. First thing you need to look out for, general characteristics. Second thing you need to look out for is classification. How is this organism classified? Classification, and then after classification, you can look out for examples and their economic importance. So for focal point, I said for general characteristics, you can use this, these two focal points to even remember them. Now, they remain, look at this word, they remain at protoplasmic level. Protoplasmic level of organization. Why? is in the past question already. Why protozoans remain in the protoplasmic level of organization? The answer is because they lack organelles. They lack organelles. And that's why they remain at protoplasmic level of organization. All right? In my next video, I will talk more on the sexual and the sexual methods of reproduction for protozoans. All right? But for this video, I would like to move fast and talk about how they are classified. And that will be all for this video. So I will move on. I'm not saying that this is just the only um, general characteristics we have for protozoans. Like I said in my next video, I will continue. 
I don't want the video to be lengthy. So I will just cut the video short. So I will be dropping videos on them. Now for classification, very quickly. Classification. How are protozoans classified? For classification, there is something called phylum. Like I said, this is a kingdom. After kingdom, there is a sub-kingdom. After sub-kingdom, there is a um, phylum. After phylum, there is class. After uh, class, there is order. That's using using this acronym. Using this acronym, um, King King Pharaoh Cup of Fen God Spoiled. If you use this, King stands for Kingdom. Kingdom. Pharaoh stands for what? Phylum. Cup stands for what? Class. Of stands for what? Order. Fame. Family. God. Genius. And this last one is what now? Species. Species. Some people can even call it KPC of GS. It's the same thing. KPC of GS. So you will still get it using that one. If you still use King Pharaoh Cup of Fame, God's Pride, you get all of them. So after a kingdom, there is phylum. After phylum, there is um, even a subphylum before class. Even after class, there's something called subclass. So I'm going to be seeing all of them here. But for classification, now let me just quickly give you this now. For the phylum, for the phylum, for phylum, there are seven phylums under the kingdom protozoans. Seven phylums. And these seven phylums, we can remember them using slamak. Slamak. All right. Remember it is in slamak. So this is MM. This is slamak. Now, we need to start writing this now. The S, this is seven phylums. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven phylum of the kingdom protozoans. The S here stands for what? Saco, Saco Mastigophora. Saco Mastigophora, that is the first one. The L here stands for what? Labarine Tomofa. Labarine Tomofa. All right. That should be R there. Yeah. Labarine Tomofa. And then the A stands for what? So I can put the A here. A, which is this first A, stands for what? AP complexa. AP complexa. You can now see that this is my acronym. Or I call it, I usually call it in my physical class, BOM. This BOM is for you to remember everything under the phylum protozoan. The M, the M there will stand for what? So permit me to use that side. I can even, let me bring it here, let me bring it here. So the first A is AP complexa. Um, or, okay, yes, let me do it that way. So let me put it up here again. Slamak, I said Slamak. Slamak. S, Saco Mastigophora. M. Labarin Tomofa. A. AP complexa. AP complexa. M. Myxozoa. 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 The next M stands for what? Microspora, microsporia, or microspora. Now the A there, another A stands for Acestos Fora. Then the C, the C stands for what? Ciliophorans. If you ask, what is the largest? phylum under the kingdom protozoan your answer will be what now 
Siliophorans. So Slamac will give you, remember I'm using Slamac does not mean you must use Slamac. All right? Slamac is important because it arranges this according to the increase um, in evolutionary trend. Increase in evolutionary trend or evolutionary trend. Evolutionary trend. So according to evolutionary trend, we use Slamac. So somebody can still say Sam Clam, if you like. Sam Clam, just that this time, this one does not give you, um, does not arrange it according to evolutionary word, friend. This is much we can take for this video. Remember to like, remember to subscribe. All right? Remember the channel where you can get all these things from is titled Affinity CHL. So search this on YouTube, capital letter subscribe subscribe and turn your no notification bell so that when next i drop a video you will get notified that i've dropped another video so this is our starting point and in the next video i will continue from where i start do well to share this video to all the class groups endeavor to um like the video subscribe share the video so that your friends can benefit as you are benefiting. Thank you and see you in our next video.